What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Man Guide. Let's get straight into it. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I'm 21. Hey, Natalie. I recognize you from the Is club. that Moist Critical? He looks a whole lot shorter than I thought. Shots fired! Shots fired! And didn't Sneeko just absolutely demolish this man? Let's see what he got to say. That we go to. So you've seen me at my worst. This is fire. It's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> you've seen me at my... Elden Ring and a Mulder Skate. Oh, okay. Those are absolutely bangers. <laughs> he likes her. She likes him. She's playing with her hair. This one's going to hurt him. Natalie. Bro, how's he got this much money he wearing the dad sneaker threes? Shots fired! Shots the fired! Walmart fours. Come on, bro. Take my seat. And I'll just stare right down the gun. Yeah. Oh, no. So you've come out on top. You said a second ago you would take another day. But the other offer on the table is all of the money in his wallet currently. It could be nothing. It's not. It's not nothing. Why would you say that? I say the Stupid. Money. What, what if you have to sign a restraining <laughs> order if you have to money? So you're picking money. Is that going to hurt your feelings? No. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I knew it. You're never going to sign money. It doesn't exist. Adventures out there. <laughs> this is why you can't simp, bro. In the simp epidemic, even guys that got buku bucks, moist critical guy, bags on bags, and still got nexted. What the is going on? I quit. <laughs> Half of Gen Z men no longer actively even trying to date. I can't They're not them. even trying. And so the question is, well, why is that happening for women? Women, first off, are dating older. Where they want more economically and emotionally viable men, and that usually means older men. Mm -hmm. In addition, when, when young women are lonely, they have much better social networks. They have much stronger friend networks. Whereas guys... True, man. Misery loves company. It's all these sister wives, bro. Kind of lone wolves and kind of literally sequester from everyone and everything. Mm -hmm. Ah, I love the smell of a good challenge in the morning. Most men will agree that, in many cases, Gen Z guys got a pretty bad deal. And by Gen Z men, I'm not talking about those that fit the usual stereotypes. But the guys that are just like you and me, the ones that work no, hard when nobody... Dude, I feel real bad for Gen Z, man. Oof, God, it's brutal out there. ...is watching. The ones that take it slow and don't subscribe to the ravenous attention market are the ones that simply want to live an honest, traditional life. After all, these are the men that this channel was made for. The random guy standing in as a specialist, talking about why Gen Z men don't date, falls into the same trap most analysts do on a daily basis. He scratched the surface, inspected it, and didn't bother to see what was just a foot deeper. So, let's get into it. Why do you think it's so difficult for people to publicly advocate for the problems of men and boys? Because victimhood doesn't work for men the way it works for women. Facts. We don't feel sorry for men. And rightly so, by the way. Biologically, men are disposable in a way that women aren't, for the obvious reasons. If you have a tribe of 10 men, 10 women, you send the women off to war, you're screwed. You mm -hmm. send the men off to war, one comes back, you can still replenish the population. So men are disposable, always will be, much more than women. And so we, are, we don't feel sorry for men in the same way. And I'm not advocating that we feel sorry for men because I don't believe that's the solution to men's problems. Thanks. The solution to men's problems is for men to be better. What's that mean? You know what I mean. I look at you. This is what your entire life is spent on bettering yourself. Physically, emotionally, mentally. psychologically, mentally. You're obsessed with performance. You're obsessed with being better. You're obsessed with being happier, more fulfilled, all of these things. It's a pursuit of your own greatness. One of the reasons that men's mental health is not as good as it could be is that, A, we do live in a society which discourages them from being men and being the way that men are supposed to be. But the other reason is that most of the personal development and psychology fields are geared towards female ways of being. Mm. And most of the ways that we treat, for example, depression, men don't need the same thing as women do when it comes to that. What men need is to feel powerful and capable. Yeah. Uh, what are you up to, young lady? What's going on? <laughs> Nothing. Why are you driving in the wrong way of traffic? No, I just got changed around. I just moved here like two months ago. You're, yes. you're going in oncoming yes. traffic. I know, and I just decided that it was... Bro, take her license away. 
Okay. Your insurance registration, I'm gonna check your driver's license status, I'm gonna do all that. Sorry, just like as an indigenous person, I'm non binary. So. Okay. What do you go by? It's Kai. How can I refer to you tonight? Kai? Kai? Okay. Hey, I'm smelling alcohol. I know. How much have you consumed tonight? Probably three drinks. I need to run you through some tests right now. Three drinks? Uh oh. Stupid. DUI coming. Okay. Perfect. Stand facing me, please. But I just want you to know that I also have very bad social anxiety. Oh, okay. You and me both. You're just like trying to intimidate me. I this is just how the test goes. I know, but you're exaggerating it more than it needs to be right now. I'm just focus on my finger. Were you a cop? Would you know? Well, as you know, as an indigenous person, and there's a bunch of shit going around, I'm sorry, but it's just for me to be on my toes. I'm non-binary. Yeah, I'll try my hardest. <laughs> I need to know if you have any injuries or anything that would prevent you from doing a standard walker test. That's what I'm gonna do the next time I get pulled over, sir. I am non-binary. I, <laughs> I am a they/them. I want you to refer to me in the plural. I do not prescribe to the he/him. Okay, I'm 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 indigenous. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going around. You know, I know you smell alcohol and you're trying to do this test, but you're just doing a little too much. You're trying to intimidate me, which I, I really don't appreciate. That can you imagine a man saying this? Mental health. Um, Any physical help. injuries? Mental, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Not call me ma'am, please. I'm trying my hardest. It's kind of triggering. Right foot in front of your left. Nope, go back. I'm sorry. Right in front of. What, what do you say? So, so I said yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. It's yes, they, no, they. Like, it's so confusing to me. Ma'am, can you just like. I apologize. This chick pulled out every card like a magician that lost their Good footing. Lord. Pun intended. Drunk. The first clip describing how men are seen and- She's just drunk, driving down the wrong way. <laughs> driving down the <laughs> wrong way, drunk. That has nothing to do with you being indigenous and everything with you being- Stupid. Okay. Goodness gracious alive. Can you imagine a man saying that? On the road. Driving the wrong way, drunk. Come on, bro, that's unreal. Down and he needs help. I can help him. If I'm down, he can help me. Go yeah. Both ways. Who paid for the first date? For him. Yeah. Who paid for the second date? Probably him. Who paid for the third date? Probably Did him. I, how long would you take care of your man if he couldn't work anymore? Let's say maybe like six months. Six months? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not equality. Since I have a timeline on it, that means that it's not equal because men, it's in our nature to provide for a woman forever. Facts. Oh my, my trauma is my trauma. Why are you judging Bro, me for oh how I'm Oh my God. Here? Stop, stop, stop. She's a runner. She's a track star. What in the H-E double hockey sticks are you wearing? Why are you dressed like that? You're a little slut. No. Nice to meet you. I'm What's your deal? What'd she say? My trauma is my trauma. Why are you judging me for how I'm healing? You're a little slut. No. Nice to meet you. I'm What's your deal? I work as a substitute teacher. I do cosplay. I am a teacher. I love going to Comic Con and dressing really? up. He smells nice. I think you two are really cute together. Are you down for one dollar margaritas? <laughs> are you unsure? Go for yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. This is what grinds grinds my gears. She's got a crooked nose like the Wicked Witch of the West. Shots fired! Shots fired! Talking about this man ain't good enough for her. This is literally why I say life is a mirror, not a window. This guy is a direct reflection of the life she's already living. She's a substitute teacher. She's not even a teacher. You're a sub. You're making $75 to $100 a day max. Miggity max. And the reason I know is because I used to substitute. I know, Ripley's Believe It or Not, your boy used to be in the classroom, okay? He used to be in the classroom. You know what's crazy is I actually wanted to be a teacher until I saw how much they got paid and I was like, no thanks, appreciate you. It's good to have you out, but no thanks. But this is what grinds my gears. This man is a direct reflection of who she is. He's a teacher. He likes cosplay, she likes cosplay. She's mid, she's beat it best. Give her a rating. Everybody right now in the comments, let me know. What do you rate her, one through 10? What do you rate her, one through 10? I'ma give her, I'ma give her a two. It is what it is. But the thing is, I'm going to give my guy here. I'm going to give him. Let's go back to him real quick. I'm also going to give. I'm going to give him like a, a, a three or a four. He's okay looking. His hair. I mean, like, he's not bad looking. Not the best looking guy ever. But like, they would be a perfect fit. But yet she nexted him. Honey, you're on his level. 
You guys are like synonymous with each other. But I think she gets next in on this next clip. So let's see. I, she needs some karma. This is killing me. Are you unsure? Go for yeah. it. Wow, I'm bro. Sorry. It was really good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sir. Was it? I feel really bad because like I did like him a lot. Wow, and she's a big bag. Also, big I don't bag. want to not leave my options open, I guess. For the streets. Hey, I'm Celeste. Nice to meet you. Would you like to see Exit Fury Kids? Yeah. I just wanted to see who else was here, I guess. Do you think you would want to go on a second date with you? I hope so. I nah. guess we'll see what he says. Oh, oh. my god! That was <laughs> more fun talking. I do have to hit the button, though. I don't play second chances. That's fair. I'm a yes. Smart. Smart man. Smart man. Because the thing is, if you would have gave her a second chance, she would have known that she was a Sam brother. I'm so glad this guy stood up for himself. You can't give these women a second chance. This is why I say women can't women can't cheat, but men can. This is a controversial one. This is one of this is one of my ones. Y'all gonna be coming after me in the comments. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? I think men can cheat and then be in a relationship and be faithful to a woman, but I think men cannot cheat because I think or women cannot cheat because here's why. I think men can cheat because we cheat physically. You ladies, y'all cheat emotionally. Y'all be cheating to get into a relationship. Just like this chick. I wanted to see what else was out there. I wanted to see the other men. I didn't want to settle for just him. We don't do that. Men will go out there and be like, you know what? I know I drink Pepsi all the time, but I might just want a Dr. Pepper today. <laughs> just a little different flavor. Doesn't mean I'm not going to change my go-to. My go-to may still be Pepsi or whatever I drink. You know what I mean? But for ladies, when y'all cheat, you're changing your go-to. If you drink Coke all the time and then you go try Dr. Pepper... Now your go-to is Dr. Pepper, which that's that's the problem. But you guys can get that analogy, right? But I think men cheat physically, women treat emotionally. Let me know in the comments. You guys might come after me, but um, that's just my hot take. They are literally wired to protect and serve at all costs like any other real man on the planet. Stop telling women we don't need makeup. We know. We just like to wear it. Chalas. No, you don't. You you have low self-esteem. You don't like wearing makeup. You don't like spending an hour on putting putting on your face. Nobody does because you know you're. Uh, what makeup means is you're you're making up for a lack of aesthetic. It's as simple as that. You don't like putting on makeup. You like looking better than you look because you have a low self-esteem and you're insecure. That's what it is. You're ugly. <laughs> Men are in their flop era, like for real. There's such an insane imbalance between men and women. Flop era? <laughs> I'll show you this. I'll show you something that can flop. <laughs> what is she talking about? I don't think that we'll ever be, be able to restore equality and the balance between men and women. I think we could. You do? Yeah. We're in this extreme where men are dispensable, you know, we can do it all our own and mm -hmm. all that thing, mm -hmm. which is, again, great because we kind of needed to raise ourselves up to the same, yeah. you know, standard. Right now, the notion I feel like online Stupid. is that one can exist without the other. The statistics are reflecting that. I mean, there's a record number of single women over 30, people are having fewer and fewer children, mm -hmm. more single women in the United States own homes than single men. This is a society. I love how they say that like it's a flex. A lot of you ladies get your homes from your ex-husbands. Shots fired! Shots fired! That's where y'all get the cribs. Nobody's talking about that. Uh, statistically, women... Yeah, because you get the cribs when y'all divorce. Stupid. Stupid. Come on, bro wide problem like we shouldn't be like oh haha ha, like men are getting theirs now because it's going to cause problems down the line in like multiple ways like some of which are really dark i feel like we kind of got to a, a bit of a plateau with this like them versus us type of thing yeah. and it's time to kind of change the narrative and it's not going to be you who solves it i what? mean i hate to say it modern women have broken the system it's going to be tough for a modern woman to actually fix the system that they broke but you know it is what it is they're trying their best i just think men need to go out there and be the best version be the best versions of themselves and when they do that the women will be attracted to you don't chase women attract them house clean hire me a maid okay realistically no, yes no, no, okay no, fine no, no, yes no, no, no. you want me to clean i agree I'll hire the maid and I'll marry the maid. Boom. Oh. I'll marry the maid. <laughs> she's tied up. She's done lots of Well, these stuff. days a man could go out in the market and he could, if he wants the poom poom, he could go get a prazi. He wants his house cleaned, he could get a maid. He wants a meal cooked, he could get a chef. Remind me again why he would need you. He wants somebody to talk to, he could get a therapist. So ladies, what are you really offering? 
And a lot of the people, a lot of these professions, we would get more loyalty out of them because we're actually paying them. That's crazy to me, bro. Question. That's she's, a question. You know, she's on the time of the month, of course. and she's like, "Can you please help yes, me with the dishes?" Yes, I will say to her, "Of course, Habib. I'll do the dishes." By the way, you got the rent this week. You're taking the mix. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right, he's got a look, point. Look, look, Why okay. do men <laughs> go into marriages okay, hating okay. their wives? Because this batch was awful. If your wife can spend more than you make, like you need to make more monies, 150, maybe to 250 thousand a year would be comfortable for sure. The more the merrier, but. 300,000, like, I guess if they made less than that, I feel like we wouldn't have the lifestyle I wanted, so I would work. Like, life's expensive. Anywhere from 70 to 100K. I would have to say 127. $500,000? <laughs> Is that bad? Probably 150 to a quarter of a million a year. My God. Ideally, my husband needs to be making like 650,000. Totally reasonable. Guys, oh I don't know why I didn't God. see this. Do they not understand how much the uh, like an average man makes in America? Like, come on. L let's just look it up. How much is the average male salary in America? Let's just check this out, bro. Like, dude, look at this. The gender pay gap, while shrinking 1% over the last 10 years, was only... Okay, okay. According to Fidelity, the median salary for men in the United States 2024 is $63,804. Or twelve hundred dollars per week. These women want six hundred and fifty grand a year. Are you out of your mind? Golly, that is absolutely wild to me, bro. I can't even imagine that a woman, like, bro, that is so much money. That's like, that's what the Fortune five hundred CEOs make. You know what I mean? That's insane. I can't even imagine a woman would even think that they deserve that when they're a regular chick. Two thousand. I'm an only child raised by a single mom. I'm paying for mom's condo right oh, okay now. this is okay this example right here i was hoping we would get to this um eventually because i react to a lot of stuff this is the perfect example of a son husband a child raised by a single mom i'm paying for mom's condo right now mm -hmm. stupid. um and stupid. i mean you know you go on dating apps you get nothing and i go out to the mall i, I feel like i got some style i i got you know well, let me let me stop you right here. I'm telling you, the way you're coming across already is beta. Beta. What woman wants to date a man who's make, who's paying his mom's condo? She's 65. She don't have any money. What am I supposed I to do? Not, I, oh, I, hey, that's not what I asked. Now, what is it? You need to understand something. But you see that's how defensive I, he got. Well, what is she supposed to do? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, that's your mom. Your mom made bad decisions. Now, she, now she's making you pay for the mistakes of her past. Bro, that's not a bad. You got a man up. Ask these women these questions. They have that same feeling too. What is she? What are you supposed to do? Live like you're living. I'm not saying don't do it, but I'm telling you, you're not coming across as a man who's at 36 who's living for him. Where's her husband? I don't know my father. Okay, your mom mismanaged her life, so now you're stuck with it. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when guys become son husbands. No different than come mother daughter scenario. The mothers end up ruining their kids' lives because they ruin their own lives. You're 36 making 100 people. You should be living your own life. Facts. Unfortunately, I'm going to give you some hardcore advice. You didn't know your father? Is he still alive? I don't know. Why don't you know? Ma, Ma won't tell me the truth, I guess. Well, he won't tell you the truth? His name's not on your birth certificate? It is. Well, what do you mean she won't tell you the truth? You know his name. I, I guess I never pursued it that hard. This is something that I... Man, have. see, this is... It's so sad, too. Loki, you want a carrot? Come here. Sit. Wait. Free. Because, uh, bro, I was raised by a single mother. And I can I can resonate a little bit with where this guy's coming from, but I never felt that I needed to take care of my mom because she mismanaged her life at certain times, right? You know what I mean? Like, m my dad and mom, they, they got a divorce. But you know what? I, when I was at the age of 21 years old... You know, I'd heard all the bad stories of my dad. He was a bad this, he was abusive. And I, and I lived through some of it, but I really only took my mom's side of the story for the longest time. But you know what, when I turned 21, I heard a quote from Danny Trejo, Ripley's Believe It or Not. This is a random quote, but the quote goes, what you can't forgive, you eventually become. I'll say it again for the ones in the back. What you cannot forgive, you eventually become. And I said, you know what, if I can't forgive my dad and be a man about this, I might turn out like him. I might turn out like a deadbeat, an abuser, a druggie. So I said, you know what, let me call this man. Found his number, found him on Facebook, called him. He was in prison like a little bit before then, so I finally got him. And I said, you know what, Dad, I forgive you. I forgive you for what you did. 
and he's like, son, I'm so sorry. I, I never had the courage to apologize to you. And I'm like, it's okay. You don't need to apologize because I forgive you. And then since then, I built a good relationship with him. We call, we text. Now he's on drugs. You know what I mean? My dad's on drugs. He's a degenerate, but he's funny. When he calls me sometimes, he'd be tripping and it's kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. But now we at least have that relationship. But if I would have just listened to my mom, and especially single moms, single moms with boys, they turn into son, son husbands like crazy. And I told my mom, I looked her dead in the face when I finally moved out after um, college. I said, I would rather be homeless than move back with you. But you have to have your back up against the wall like that. Because if you feel like there's a fail safe, you can move back in with your parents, that's bad. I would rather be homeless than live with my mom again. I don't care what kind of hard times I fall on. I'd rather be homeless. And I hope you guys have that same mindset. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Steps to Style. That is the newest addition to the ebooks. Um, it is literally the holy grail when it comes to everything style related. I'm talking from cologne, haircuts, beards, sunglasses what how you should redo your wardrobe everything that you need to know this is the holy grail for it but loki did you have a good time he's tired you know what's crazy with dogs is, is literally his back paws are like up by his face can you imagine trying to put your leg up by your head man that would be that'd be a little <laughs> sus too <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget to like comment subscribe i'll see you guys tomorrow man peace